Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C-square. In this example, we need to find the volume and the surface area of this square pyramid. So, which means the base of this pyramid, which is the uh, polygon A, B, C, D, is nothing else than a square. For that reason, I'm going to use these two formula. The first one, V equals 1 over 3, very important that 1 over 3. B stands for the area of the base and H stands for the height and as i said the base is a square so the area of the base will be the side of the square squared and in this case we notice this is 16 so we're gonna have 16 square and that will be 256 so the area of the base is 256 square units now we can go to the volume and the volume is 1 over 3 again do not forget about that 1 over 3 times the base 256 times the height which in this case is this 12 you see here how do we know that one is the height we notice this segment VE is perpendicular on this base ABCD as I said before so you need to be sure that is the height which in this case it is so we can simplify this expression the way i'll do it i'll simplify here like this 3 goes in 12 4 times and 256 times 4 1024 the volume the volume of squ these square pyramids is 1024 cubic units and now we can move to the second part and we're going to look to the surface area you notice the formula is right here surface area is the lateral area of this pyramid plus the base and in this case the lateral area if you take a look it has four triangle vdc vbc the one back vba the one on the left and vad the one up front and those four triangles are congruent they are the same so if we for, if we find one then we can multiply simply by four so i'm going to draw here this perpendicular on dc this is what we call the slant height so i'm going to call it simple s and because you have a square this guy we are going to meet here and this is going to be a right triangle and also because this is a square and I'm going to call this point F, EF will be half of 16, which means 8. So now if you notice, we have this triangle, VEF, which I'm going to do it here, VEF, where VE, the height is 12, EF is that segment that I said is half of 16, it's 8. We need to find this S, the slant height, and I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So in this case, we have 8 squared plus 12 squared equals S squared. 64, right? A squared is 64. 12 squared is 144. And that will be a square. If we add 64 and 144, we get uh, 208. And then we take square root of 208, and if you can simplify, do it. This is nothing else than 4 square root of 13. So now we know the slant height, which is the height of the triangle VDC. So we can find the area of that triangle, which is going to be 1 over 2 times the base, the DC, which is nothing else than 16, because remember, we have a square as a base and the height of that triangle is the slant height which is 4 square root of 13 so we can simplify a little bit here 2 goes in 16 8 times so the area of that face VDC it's 8 times 4 that will be 32 square root of 13 that is one triangle and if you remember the lateral area means 
four triangles. So I'm going to have 4 times 32 square root of 13, which will be 128, 128 square root of 13. And of course, last thing we're going to do, we're going to go back here in the surface area. And we're going to have the lateral area, 128 square root of 13, plus the base, which if you remember, we did it, is 256. So the final answer for this problem is 256 for the, uh, for the surface area is 256 plus 128 square root of 13. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.